Hey everyone, this is Brandon Jones, and I wanted to show you the latest WebGL demo that I've been working on for On Game Start. So this is a level from the iOS version of id Software's Rage running in a web browser. Um, it's being parsed with JavaScript and rendered with WebGL. And as you can see, everything is pretty much there. Um, the static level geometry all renders correctly. There are some missing effects elements, such as the fire that should have been in that barrel. Um, and obviously we don't have mutants or any of the other animated elements, but the texture streaming is working correctly. You can move around the level, we can pause and look around, and everything runs pretty good. The frame rate is suffering here because of the video recording software, but generally I get 50 to 60 frames per second on a walkthrough. That's rendering 960 by 640, which I believe is the same as an iPhone 4 Retina display. This works with both the SD and HD resources from the game, but in this case I'm using HD just because it looks a little bit better. The maps are sent over as the raw binary files from the iOS resources and can be parsed entirely in JavaScript. The textures do, however, have to be broken up into individual JPEGs converted from the PVR that they're stored as natively. We don't have any way of rendering or loading PVR textures nicely in a browser. The parser was essentially built by opening up the binary files in a hex editor and just poking and prodding at them for a while, looking at for patterns in the hex and things that looked familiar, throwing things up on screen, seeing what rendered, what didn't. And through a lot of experimentation, I was able to get 90% of the rendering working correctly. Uh, you could walk through an entire level, but everything was untextured. After a week of not making any progress, I finally broke down and wrote to John Carmack and told him that I was doing the demo, I was doing it for the HTML game conference, and asked him if he had any hints on the bits that I was missing, and to my utter amazement, he actually wrote back, gave me a couple of nudges in the right direction, and I was able to get the rest of the render finished basically the next day. In that same email, however, he did ask that I not put any of the Rage Media files on a publicly available web server, and as a result, I'm not going to have a live version of this demo available to play with. I will, however, be demoing it live on stage at On Game Start, so if you'd like to see it, you're welcome to come. In the meantime, I will be posting as much as I can about the file format, what I was able to discover. Uh, I'll be posting my full source code for this demo, and I'll be giving instructions on how to extract the resource files correctly if you do wish to do this on your own machines. So for those of you out there who like to tinker, I will make as much information available as I possibly can. Start looking for that information to appear on my blog at tojicode.com over the next few days. This has been a very fun project for me to work on, and one that I think shows off the potential of WebGL especially well, because the map format involved was designed for a mobile device where you have very limited resources and you have to really make everything count, and that mirrors the WebGL environment in a browser pretty well. This format is probably not appropriate for any of your own game development, simply because the format is proprietary, it's owned by id Software, and none of the toolchain needed to build the levels is publicly available. But it does provide a wonderful case study for the type of things that you can do to keep up performance in a limited resource environment such as WebGL. I want to give a huge thank you to John Carmack for providing the hints that got me over the last couple of details in this file format. And hopefully I can see all the rest of you who are interested in WebGL development at On Game Star in Poland this September 22nd and 23rd.